extensive works going on in Kasarani, Moy Stadium. We have extensive works going on in Nyayo National Stadium. We have extensive works underway in Jamuhuri, the new 60-seater uh, stadium right there in, in, in Jamuhuri in Nairobi. All those are on course. Uh, we will deliver the stadium that will be used either for the kickoff or the finals in Jamuhuri. We will deliver it a year ahead of schedule or a year ahead of 2027. We want to deliver it by 2026. So, in fact, we are trying to see whether we can do it by December next year. So, it's all systems go for um, us hosting um, the game, the uh, AFCON, both in Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda. As for Harambe Stars, because the game will be right here at home, uh, we are preparing Harambe Stars. We are going out of our way to make sure that every bit of necessary support is given to Arambe Stars. Um, I cannot give you details on uh, whether the coach will be Kenyan, whether it will be Morinho or whoever. Uh, I, you, have, you have some nice suggestions on who you think that should be. But I think that is a conversation that is going on at the ministry. One thing I want to assure you is that we will give our Arambe Stars the best support that we can master as Kenyans. And I want to encourage all of us as lovers of football that we give them moral support as well and uh, support them so that they can put up a good show in AFCON. As to corruption in police and the rent seeking in police stations, you're right. We have decided that we are going to digitize all police stations and even make sure that, and I want Raymond, do you want to say something about uh, that particular issue? Your Excellency, there is a program on the plan to do the digitization. First, of course, we were piloting the OB, uh, the occurrence book, so that we are able to keep track of uh, what is uh, going on. But then there is also the broader police modernization program uh, that we are running that uh, includes equipping and also improving the facilities that they have. Uh, there is a proposal uh, that the gentleman has on the CCTVs. I think even in the major cities as it is uh, in Nairobi and Mombasa, we already have uh, that going on to help the police man the streets, but also for accountability on the part of, uh, of the police. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. As you have heard, we already have a whole program around, first, the famous OB, you know, occurrence book, where when you arrive at the police station, that is where your, your, your report is entered. We want to make sure that that is digital so that we can, from every place, we can know what is happening where and reports don't disappear or pages of the OP don't disappear. So that is, uh, but you have a solid uh, suggestion on making sure that we digitize that face and deal with the matter of corruption. It is true that there is serious, both impunity, and, 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 and this is something we must deal with as Kenyans. And you see, it is also important for us to say there are people who actually actively induce policemen with money. I think it is time, even us as Kenyans, we stopped the culture of bribing policemen. You know, because sometimes policemen cannot resist the offers that are being made uh, and advances on them. So this corruption thing, we must deal with it from all angles. We must make sure that we take action on the police that ask for the money, and Kenyans who give money must also be told they are part of the problem. And I don't know who is going to tell them. You know, we need to, we need to tell uh, ourselves as a people to stop that culture. And then you have talked about uh, water. 
uh, I may not be competent to answer about the water in Kisumu County and the, and the payments and the, how much it costs. But broadly, what I can tell you is that we have a program on delivering additional water. We just succeeded in delivering additional 140 billion uh, liters of water to Nairobi County, a program that has been on, on the works for the last almost eight years. That program has now been delivered. It is also my intention, and yesterday we had a conversation with the county of Kisumu. We have a big dam here called Koru Soin Dam, which is part of the infrastructure we want to use to deliver water that will assist in making sure that we have additional water in this great city and the environs. So there is, the big plan is to supply as much water as possible. That way, when we have enough water, it becomes easy to moderate the costs of water. So um, on my end, I want to just commit to you that my plan is to increase the water supply, work with the counties, and then we need also to have a conversation with the counties because now we have a whole concept of public participation where all of us can engage government at all levels on matters that are of concern to citizens. Let me finally speak to Beatrice. And uh, Beatrice has said, um, what are we going to do about the finance bill? You know, the finance bill is something we must think about as Kenyans, all of us. There were many issues in that finance bill that were very positive for our country. And we are having conversations with different partners. We are having different conversations with uh, different partners. Of course, when we lost the, the finance bill, we lost close to 340 billion of the money that we would have raised using the finance bill. I now have a new minister, uh, John Mbadi, who is a seasoned accountant and somebody who has clarity on where we want to go. And I have already given him the assignment to look at the best way we can get ourselves out of this. He is working with the Treasury team. They have given me the initial proposal, and I am very confident that we can t turn things around once we consolidate our position and then engage the stakeholders in that space and even get ourselves having a conversation with our members of parliament so that we can decide as a country how we move forward. Because the current situation is not tenable. We have to find the resources to deal with the issues. We have roads that many people here agree are stalled. We have water projects that we have to deal with. We have teachers that we have to pay. We have the whole array of requirements of public, including what my sister uh, Yvonne said about matters health that we have to deal with. And all those require resources. So we are going to be innovative on how we are going to look for those resources. And uh, my team at Treasury are working around the clock on it. Now, I am reliably told that we, are, we have another 20 minutes of time. So maybe I will take one final round of questions. Maybe that gentleman looks like he has a burning question. Thank you, His Excellency, Mr. President. My name is Olebo, Kalebo Winongar, and uh, I'm a resident of Kisumu and also a politician. And uh, mostly, I'm a sport.